Next Foils. Today we're going to teach you your first big trick. It's how to jump to foil, actually getting both wings in the air. Okay, we're ready for the big trick here. It's the first air you're ever going to get. It's your basic jump here. Um, it's going to be more audio than visual here because I need to explain something to, to y'all here. Um, I think the biggest problem I have teaching people how to jump is the word jump. If you look up the word jump in a dictionary, it'd probably say to push yourself in the air. And seeing how most people come from a wakeboard or a water ski background, they want to push themselves in the air. That is absolutely 100% opposite of what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is the same thing an airplane would do. It exposes the wing to the angle of attack and it pushes you in the air. So if you're trying to push yourself in the air, really what you're doing is you're pushing on your feet. You're losing all the angle of the front wing that pushes you in the air and you're going to do a face plant. So what I got to do is teach you how to get angle on the front wing. And what that is, you pull up your knees and your toes, that pulls up the front wing, it pushes you in the air. That's basically how you jump. Another thing that's very important when you're learning how to jump is your handle position. If you jump and you keep your hands on your knees, it's going to keep the tip of the board up. If you let your hands come up to shoulder height, it's going to be level. If you raise your hands, you're going to have a negative angle of attack and you're probably going to do a face plant. So very important, when you're in, in the air, from the time you take off to the time you land, the rope must be right over your knees like John here in this picture. So a jump is very easy if you understand it. Rock back, pull your toes and knees up, don't throw your shoulders back and don't push on your feet and you will be jumping.